Okay, after a short break, here we go. Let's discover the pack bear of greed. Hello, Mr. Vice President. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, Vice Pres? I just want you to know that I tried to stop her, okay? The banquet from hell that this she-devil is planning, that's what. I'm not really good with this sort of thing, but maybe you'll be able to handle it better. Oh, come on. Don't give him the wrong idea. I just wanted to put on a party, that's all. That's what I mean. I can't stand this party business. You got any idea how exhausting that sounds? Makes my skin crawl. Wow, that could... That's an interesting conversation because it has two meaning. For the chick that hand, handing the back to everyone. And the party is what we're doing now. Well, you're not the one we're celebrating, so hush! Please. All that rabble-rousing would be more of a curse than a celebration. Oh dear, I can't hear you all of a sudden. Did you say something? Alas, no. Twas mayhaps your imagination, milady. Anyway, we may still be cut off from the outside, but the mist on campus is cleared up for the most part. Thanks to the TSC, the majority of our problems aren't problems anymore. So I figured we could lighten the mood and celebrate a little. Everything's been so gloomy lately, you know? What do you think? Sounds great, right? Yeah. The old dorm? Well, Mr. No Mist, it's not like anyone can get in there while it's all locked up. Now that the major areas on campus are clear, we should shake things up with a little party. No need to worry about the other buildings. I'm sure you'll get them all sorted out in time. Time isn't going to be the solution to every problem, you know? Oh dear, I can't hear you all of a sudden. Did you say something? Alas, no. Twas mayhaps your imagination, my lady. I heard from Dr. Kakeru that you have some things to take care of, don't you? Wow, sure. You're headed for the old dormitory, right? Make sure to check in with Chio before you go. And once you get back, We'll have a party with everyone else. Be careful out there, you hear? Okay, really, are we on that notion? Ah, I can't. You seem kind of pale. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard. back anytime you like. Okay, let, out of my conscience, let's talk to, see if I can talk to her. Oh, hey! Great work! Huh? What are you, where's, oh, doctors, see it? Okay. I thought they said that I should talk to her, but well, the game knows better.
Oh boy, she's afraid of ghosts. It's not an abandoned ruin yet, but it is just about as unwelcoming. I feel like something's going to jump out at me. Probably Venetus. Come on. What? Am I not allowed to be afraid? Still, you'd think I'd be over it by now. We've been fighting supernatural beings after all. This is a little different though. It's as if every cell in my body is telling me to make a break for it. After all, if demons and monarchs exist, maybe other supernatural things do too. We could ask for or possess stuffed bunny. It seems this. Of course it is. Why it wouldn't be? Oh boy. Oh, at least it's not gonna be that difficult. Let's go, Nizomi. I'll be your strength. Get ready. Fruitless. Here I go. I'll see for myself. Yeah. I've got you. Uh. How irritating. On your knees. Here I go. Enemy down. I'm with you. Support. You don't do damage and need to kind of remember that. For myself, I'll see for myself. That's going to be a hell of a fun. On your knees. Not exactly in the way that I want. Slash would like that you appear. I think I'm gonna kill those. Here I here I go. I'll see by your command. Let me check. Cleave. For myself, spineless. Here I go. It's over. I've got 
We made it, Nozomi. Good job! You were amazing! Well... Nothing really great, but... Maybe, maybe. That's not a knock, because we still have a couple things. Light ground. Uh, before that, let's go again. Characters. Let's start with Pride. And we lost one HP. Wow. I like the other one. <laughs> Cash, so yeah. Unlock abilities, let's throw stuff on you. That's probably probably not that isn't the smart way to do stuff, but uh, it's the way we were doing stuff. There's no way out. If there is Time it presides. Know the time it presides over the side marked by numbers of earthly desires. <sighs> Completely flowing over my head. This is a six o'clock. Six o'clock across the way is twelve o'clock. Zero six twelve. Well, the short, the long doesn't change, no matter what. If it is a clock, it always on 12. Oh boy. Right? I just love ruins. You can almost...
There's no way out. If there is, I can't find it. Okay, well, let's open a clock. This is six o'clock. Wait. Across the way is twelve o'clock. That's kind of not what I expect. So it's not... wasn't there. 5 billion out of 10. No one's here. Where am I? What year is it? I need to go fast because I don't want to blow without the goddamn thing. Well, I know one of the things that I'm gonna be using is the extra damage for madness. Second ideal. Shatter it and we'll only have one to go. By the way, I'm glad you brought me along, Vice President. But I wanted to ask, why? I'm questioning that now because I remember you don't do shit damage. to hear it I would probably if I was in my way it would probably bring Ryutaru simply because I think he can do damage get a chance to live up to that trust oh fucking hell oh, it's gonna be special Let's go, Nozomi. I'll be your strength. Here I go. Here I go. I'll see for myself. Yeah. How irritating. Ha! On your knees. Here I go. Ha! Support. Assist. Support. Here I go. I know where this is going. <laughs> Ready. 
Which I think is this. Here I go. I'll see for myself. On your knees. How irritating. I know where this is going. <laughs> Victory. Well now. <laughs> Too slow. That fucking hurt, mate. Null and void. Here I go. I'll see for myself. Timeless. On your knees. I'll see for myself. On I'll see for myself. Checkmate. On your knees. Now heal everyone. Heal. I know where this is going. <laughs> Here I go. Here I go. I want to help you. I'll see for myself. Oh, that's all great. How irritating. I think he's almost my entire damage. On your knees. This is going. <laughs> Victory. Uh. Too slow. Counter attack. Get ready. You guess how this is gonna go? Null and void. for myself how irritating Timeless. on your knees Just. well at least we almost did it is going. <laughs> kill, kill, kill. So this is madness. Kinda is. Uh check. How irritating. On your knees. You're literally patting yourself on the back. Here I go. I know where this is going. <laughs> so this is madness. Here 
I go? I want to help you. I'll see for myself. How irritating. Remember, this time I cannot do what I normally do. I think... Or am I wrong and I can? Run them through. I'll see for myself. How irritating. Madness. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, kill him by the fuck, please. Ha! Me too. Assist. Assist. Well, you didn't. Oh, it's gonna delay one turn. Kill. Kill. <laughs> Payback. This is madness. Come to think, that's gonna delay more than one turn. No mercy. Me too. Assist. I'll see for myself. Oh uh, no. I trust in sloth to you carry my way to me. victory. Good job. You were amazing. Well, at least we got a couple of stuff. This is smelling uh, too easy to be true, but okay. The puzzles are a little bit more bullshit. This is a necessity. There's no way around it. Injustice to combat injustice. Madness to disrupt madness. Enough power to distort the very laws of nature and reclaim everything I have lost. The power to restore everything to how it was and to keep it that way forevermore. The power to give meaning to all the time spent shedding tears of regret. Time spent wishing, lamenting, resenting. If only, if only, if only. All obliterate the despair I suffered then. The despair that stole you from me. I'll destroy the emptiness I felt ever since. The imp I Sorry. will prevail over this cruel and irrational world. The power to distort time and space itself. To bend them against all rhyme and reason. The power to not only revert loss, but to negate it entirely. To turn these if-onlys into reality. It's a necessity. I can't see it any other way. With this power, I will return to that place in time. Okay, here's the thing. We, we don't see... I think we don't see the... ...person, but we hear the time, doesn't it? <laughs> Your answer's a miss. Though almost accurate. Don't think your brain into a huff. You'll see it yourself soon enough. To all 
of you. And on a hap note, happier note, uh, I discover a way, watch your guide, how to kill death on Vampire Survivor. Cheers. Bacon and eggs. Oh boy. I'm hungry, but I can't eat. Thank you for inviting me, Dr. Shironeko. Of course! You're a behind the scenes guy. It's all thanks to you that life runs so smoothly here. We could say the same for you, Dr. Shironeko. Thank you for saving so many of our students. No, no! I only did what anyone else would have. Besides, helping those in need is part of my job. You truly are the pride of our academy. Who, <laughs> me? Oh, don't be ridiculous. And you're an excellent cook as well. You go, would you care for some of this too? No. I couldn't eat another bite, Sora. Oh, you're no fun. What happened to my gourmand of a husband? The past is the past. We're both getting up there in years. <sighs> oh, but you're still as beautiful as ever, Sora. <laughs> Stop it, you. You're making me blush like a schoolgirl. Hurts to watch. Literally. What the hell? <sighs> you might be the next pack bearer on the list. It look at you stuffing your face away. I'm almost impressed. You're just like a maggot. Low brain mass and a bottomless stomach. Oh boy, aren't you the well of fucking fun? Piss off, man. Can't you drop the emo act for once? This is a party. I don't want to hear this while I eat. Completely agree. Or didn't your parents teach you any manners? Excuse me? We all know that the doctor You're is not dead. here. Shinya! Hey! You're wasting food! Oh, wait! We are Taro! Uh, Kokoro, you've got whipped cream on your mouth. How careless of me. My hands are full. I will require assistance. Perhaps I could petition the vice president to... No one looks to me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Kokoro. I'll get it for you. Is this people gonna kill? Oh, you're going to scrub my lips off. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I'll make sure to scrub you nice and clean. She's smiling, but not with her eyes. They all seem to be having fun. You sure you don't want to join them, Vice Press? Oh? And it's got something to do with me? Yes. You know, now that I think about it, I've been meaning to say something to you. Good work out there, really. You're the reason we've restored any semblance of peace here. Tell me something, Vice Prez. If all this chaos ever ends and we can go home again, what's the first thing you want to do? I don't know. I don't... I think I don't exist, so... There's that. You and Chio, huh? You've got your priorities straight. No going back on your word, got it? 
I want to get out of here just as much as you. I made a promise with my brother, too. A promise from back when he got into high school. Said I'd take him on a trip to celebrate. But, long story short, things just didn't pan out that way. He died. I always thought I'd be able to make it up to him later on. But, well, life is full of twists and turns. Seeing you and your sister, it really reminds me of me and my little bro. Not that you and us are anything alike. Sorry, I didn't mean to make things all heavy. Guess this ain't the right time or place. Let's change the subject. How about romance? I've got... No. I don't know who die, but thanks. What was that? It came from the infirmary. Sora, don't you think I should check out the infirmary? I am the school doctor, after all. It's kind of my home turf. Perhaps. Oh! But you seem so terribly worn down, doctor. We can't have that. Uh, couldn't you have picked a better time and place to show up? Dr. Kakeru. Of course I can't. I'm not you after all. The reason I'm here is simply to say good night. Good night? I'm not sure what loop you're on now, but if I'm correct, something should be shattering soon. It's clear I can't count on you any longer. I won't abide you getting in the way of my precious child. It's a cruel, irrational world. No matter what time or place you decide on, the night will always come. Okay, that's the, that takes the cake. Huh? What? Why am I in the infirmary? What in the world happened? What's going on? Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Can I go home now? Uh... Are we... in the infirmary? But why? Sumire, are you okay? Huh? Who are you? Wow! Yeah, that's the thing. Mass Delirium? Mr. Hugo, can you give me a hand? I'd like to get some medical supplies from the storage room. But of course. The rest of you, keep them in bed and calm them down. Got it. So, he's gonna just put everyone into a coma. Works! There. 
They're quiet now. Problem solved. Ryotaro, you used your authority, didn't you? It's fine. I only took a little stamina. It's not going to hurt him. Besides, it calmed them down, didn't it? Sora, the Pact Bearers are conscious. <sighs> are you all right? You don't look well. Yes, I'm fine. I just had a short dizzy spell when I left the classroom. Oh? Where is Dr. Kakeru? Now that you mention it... Wasn't him with you? We have to think that we don't know. He was just here. He's a doctor. Where could he possibly be going at a time like this? That's all me. For fuck's sake, you were with me. You heard him. Did he get lost somehow? From there to here? No way. Coming in from you, that's rich. That's right. He's not like someone else we know. Hmm. Anything ringing? <sighs> Nobody move. The plot thickens. ringing you heard came from the pact bearer of greed i protected the space to prevent their authority from influencing anything the jingu family has handled otherworldly matters for years after all we have methods for dealing with issues like these wait a fucking second a pact bearer's authority oh no Th doesn't that doesn't matter means There's a very good chance something's happened outside. We should check outside the infirmary. Hmm. Oh my goodness! Miss Sora! Nozomi! Chio? There are so many people here! And how did these beds fill up so fast? Dr. Neko? What the hell are you going on about? Um, Ryotaro, right? Just look at all the people in the infirmary. Who wouldn't be surprised? But forget that. Look outside. There's this weird dome thing around the academy. Huh? You mean the barrier? Why are all of you so calm about this? The rest of the Academy is freaking out. This is an emergency. Dr. Shiro Neko, please, calm down. I have some questions for you. You said the Academy has been covered by some sort of dome, but do you remember when that happened? When? Just now. What's going on here, Ms. Sora? I apologize, but now's not the time. May I ask you to take care of the patients, Dr. Shiro Neko? Uh, huh? I mean, sure, but this is all so sudden. Members of the TSC, for now I ask that you please return to the spare classroom. Shouldn't I go break the idea of greed?
I took a look around the building. But it's just as Dr. Shironeko said. At this point in time, the barrier has only just appeared around the Academy. Um, which means... did we... go back to the past or something? Regrettably, yes. Unbelievable. Is there Wait. anything authorities can't do? Wait a fucking second. This defies all logic. Such a power is beyond reason. Don't tell me. They've got conditions and limitations, but depending on how you use them, you can basically be unstoppable. Controlling time's the kind of power you can't even fight. Not usually, anyway. Don't tell me that I'm gonna need to well, do everything anything. again. Are we sure we've traveled through time? They say that if you encounter yourself in another timeline, you'll create a paradox and vanish. I don't want that to happen to me. Are we going to make it through this? There was no sign of those who were inside the infirmary, myself included, on the academy grounds. Phew. This isn't likely to be a power that creates another timeline or a parallel dimension. Evidently, it interferes with the target's time, controlling and rewinding their responses to physical phenomena. That's Aside from the infirmary, a lot of bullshit. everywhere else was wound back to just before the barrier appeared. <sighs> a power with such a substantial effect on the world must also take a massive toll on its pact bearer. It shouldn't be possible to carry out large-scale temporal manipulation like this consecutively. As it only targeted the Academy grounds, the ideals within the other world should still be destroyed. <sighs> you should use this opportunity to shatter the final ideal and render the Pact Bearer of Greed powerless. God damn it. The corresponding mist should be somewhere within the old dormitory. Wow. Something's been bugging me for a while. Don't you think Kurama's uniform is kind of weird? Nobody else wears anything like it. What's up with that? Oh, that. It's a uniform that the student council president wears during ceremonies. He probably found it on a shelf in the student council room and took it for himself. A ceremonial uniform? Huh. I thought it was just some sort of retro throwback outfit. Have you worn it before, Nozomi? Just once. I don't really like it. It makes me stick out like a sore thumb. 